Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to Mysteries from Beyond the Other Dominion. I'm your host, Dr. Franklin Rule, and today we're going to ask if the planet Mercury could end all life on the planet Earth. Tell you about the case of the guardian angel versus the killer shark. Investigate the mysterious, pigeon-eating Bahamian elves and critique the 1946 thriller Shock starring Vincent Price and Lynn Berry, and cover other intriguing segments, time of course permitting. But first, could the planet Mercury destroy life on the planet Earth? Unfortunately, there's a new report that's very disturbing. It was published in the Journal of Astronomy and Astrophysics by a Dr. Uh, Jacques Lasker from the Bureau of Longitudes in Paris. He carried out detailed calculations projecting into the next 15 billion years the orbits of the nine planets in our solar system. Now these involved, as I say, sophisticated computer computations that required a set of initial assumptions regarding the orbits of the planets at the very earliest of stages of our solar system 4.5 billion years ago. So for each planet he had several different possible orbits in the future based on what those initial conditions were which we still do not know about. Well, for the four outer planets, fortunately, that's Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune, their orbits appear to remain stable under all conditions for the foreseeable future. And we're talking about even 15 billion years into the future. However, for the four inner planets, Mercury, Mars, Venus, and the Earth, the situation is not so rosy. Earth and Venus appear to have very stable orbits for the future. Mars does not, but what really concerns us is the planet Mercury, the smallest of the four inner planets, the one closest to the Sun. There are two possible scenarios that Laskar has uncovered. Scenario A is that Mercury could spiral out of the solar system and that could cause gravitational fluctuations that would adversely affect the planet Earth. The other possibility, B, is that Mercury could actually smash in to the planet Venus, destroying both of those bodies. And that would prove absolutely devastating to life on Earth, because it would set up gravitational instabilities where our atmosphere would change radically. Our planet might not be able to hold the atmosphere. It could devastate life on our planet, even though we were not directly involved. And this is a frightening prospect. And you might say, how in the world could we possibly prevent this from happening if it does? Well, there are a number of things we can do. First of all, we must now watch the orbit of Mercury more diligently than we've ever done in the past to watch for any fluctuations in its orbit. Secondly, we must accelerate our manned space program and not just tinker with men in space stations orbiting the Earth. We need a vast space-faring capability. And we proved this when we went to the moon in 1969. We should now have a flourishing lunar base and a flourishing Martian base. And with that type of capability, the ability of men to go into space, we could then dispatch a team of astronauts to the vicinity of Mercury doing one of two things. Setting charges on the planet, and we're talking about powerful explosives, or setting those explosives in the orbit near Mercury. Either way, this explosion would cause Mercury to go back on its course if it starts to deviate. So sort of sophisticated astro-engineering. We can't do that today, but in the future we'll be able to and we have to prepare for this possibility. I mentioned previously that we are now on the verge of being able to protect ourselves from any incoming asteroids or comets 
by diverting their orbits to such means, by sending astronauts nearby, setting off charges either on them or near them. And again, we only have to adjust the orbit of Mercury slightly, but we've got to watch it carefully. We've been forewarned, now we've got to become forearmed. Now until next time, may the power of the cosmos be with you. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs>